Hi, everyone. It's me, Dr. Stacy Betancourt, with another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacy. Now, today we talk about a rebirth. Uh, today, throughout the Christian world, the day is reserved and marked as the day that Jesus rose from the dead. It's also a remembrance of rebirth and the gifts that spring comes. I mean, it's what spring brings. If you're a gardener, it's the idea of getting your hands into the soil. If you are, um, you know, you've got your flowers planted, they're starting to raise their little heads. And, you know, the thing is, is that we're starting to get out of our houses more. We're not as, you know, inside as we were during the winter months. And, you know, it's interesting to me because there's so many gifts that we enjoy. And it leads me to a thought process that we usually think of New Year's as a time to establish habits. And the thing is, is that have you ever considered that this time of year really does give you a chance to free yourselves from the burdens of life? You know, new things, you know, it allows you so much to do you, with the coming of the spring and Easter and everything that goes with it. And it's like, you know, it's a perfect time. Try new things. Um, if there's a goal that you want to, to achieve in fitness, what better time than light sunlight later on in the evening? There could be an opportunity for you to reevaluate your financial situation and maybe do some reevaluation on what you're doing and what you're spending versus what you need and wants. Um, it could be so many different things, changing your inner narrative. Instead of saying someday I'm going to, why not do it? You know, what are you waiting for? And that's the thing is that, you know, what's holding you back? You know, we don't have to have things be perfect in order to get to where we're going. Like, for example, if you are, you know, going to open an office or a store, finding the exact perfect place the first time doesn't always have to happen. You can begin things in your home, um, you know having the perfect clothing or equipment or whatever it is that you're, you know, waiting for, oh, I can't do that until I have this. You know, the thing is, is just get out there, just do it. And, you know, trust me when I say that, you know, just getting out there, things will begin to fall into place. And, you know, it's, it's all you have to do is get out there and try. And remember, if you find that desire wasn't right for you, then you know what? It's not a failure because it's better to say that you have tried something than to wish and do nothing because wishing for something to happen or gosh, I wish I could do this. You're never going to know whether it's going to work for you or not. So getting out there is important and, you know, take this season as your opportunity for your rebirth. Some do something new, do something that, you know, kind of scares you a little bit, get out there and don't be afraid to try. So if there's something you're holding on to that you're not sure of, let me know, drop it in the comments, email me. If there's something you need help with, I would love to help you. So for this week, it's a rebirth, a restart, whatever it is that you're looking for, go for it. Don't wait. And remember to be nice to others, be kind to others, because we don't know what journey they're on. We don't know if they've gotten there yet, but have faith that they will. Be good to yourself. Show yourself some grace. Things that are new to us are not always going to be easy, but you know what? It's worth trying for. So have a great week. Enjoy the day. Get out there. Do something different. Let me know what you've done. Take care. This is Dr. Stacey Betancourt with another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacy, And I'll see you next week.